Okay, our, our package finally came. I was going to be traveling to Korea for uh, to do some stuff, and uh, I don't speak Korean at all, and I saw this thing online, this advertisement on YouTube, for a translator, you don't need a, you know, you could probably get, like, translators for your phone that uh, you would maybe need internet or something, but what if you're in a country and you don't have internet? This is like a built-in translator, self-contained unit, and uh, it came right from China. I was tracking it, tracking it across the ocean. It was coming here, and, oh, okay, let's take a look at what this is. This is interesting. And so it's, it's supposed to be a, a translator where you, uh, you talk into it. It's a bunch of bubble wrap. And then it will talk in a different language, and it does it's supposed to do about 30 different languages, although they counted English as about five of them. English, Australian, Great Britain, whatever. Which uh, I wouldn't really consider that. Five different, you know, so maybe 25 different languages. Okay. Intelligent speech translator. Okay, let's... Uh, Got a fancy little sl slide thing around the box to hold it together. If I can get this off. And uh, I think people on the internet said that the manual was kind of complicated. Ooh, here we go. Here's the manual. Oh. And. Oh my gosh. It's about the size of a remote control got two buttons on it, it looks like. USB port on the side. Uh, looks like a mic opening there, some kind of tape. Uh, plus and minus and power on on this side. And a uh, big speaker in the back. So I have no idea how this works. We'll have to take a look at that. Maybe I'll have to read the directions and oh, here is a USB power cable. And uh, it's kind of short. It's like six inches long. Maybe that's for charging it. Okay, anyway. So hopefully this thing works. Be interesting if it does. It's supposed to do German and French and, of course, Korean and where we're going and Chinese and. Uh, a bunch of other different languages. Let's see, what if it says on here? Take a look in this booklet. Oh my god. Really? This is all Chinese. Please tell me there's an English version on the other side. Okay, okay, so... It's in Chinese on the back. In English on the front. Button description. Okay. Let me read through the directions and uh, hopefully, hopefully there's something good in here that tells you how to run the thing. Okay. Okay. So I got this um, this uh, translator thing stuck in the box, and uh, I wanted to take it on my trip. And it looks like in order to uh, set up which languages, you have to download software onto your your phone and um, okay so you want to download software onto your phone and then somehow that links to this thing and they don't want to give you the software unless you have a um, uh, a reader what is it a, a QR code reader and so I don't have one of those on my phone, so we will try to uh, install one and see if we can get this thing to work. Okay. Okay, so anyway, we got this um, translator here, and I thought it would be good to take on my trip. And it has translates in both different directions. And uh, so the uh, user manual says that we need to uh, put a QR scanner on our phone or device and read that in order to get the free software to use with uh, this 
to set up this this will set up the language English to whatever and so my phone didn't have enough space on it but here is my tablet we'll see if we can uh, get this to work okay okay so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, go to the Play Store and we will look up do a search for QR code reader we'll see what we got here um, let's see this one's what what is this QR this is 4.7 okay well let's try this one I guess it's it's rated 4.7 stars and let's see if we got enough memory to install it okay we'll give it permissions okay well I guess we'll open it barcode scanner uh, QR barcode scan barcode okay so oh great guess we'll try that one since the other one failed hmm <coughs> Oh, that one doesn't seem to be working. I'll try a different barcode scanner. Try that one, I guess. Okay, we'll try opening it. What the heck? Okay, let's take this code reader and stick it up here. See if we can read it. Oh, it does not seem to be working. Okay, so I uh, tried using the directions here from the, the uh, translator. It has a, maybe a little bit clearer printing of it on here. And I tried different barcode readers. This, this one right here, the first one didn't seem to read it, but this uh, QR code reader, when I brought this just right, let's, let's get it right over that square. Oh, right over the square like that. Okay. And look at that. It says, uh, open URL, HTTP uh, update Puha TV translator, translator index. Okay. So let's click OK, I guess, to that. Because uh, that's exactly, let's rotate this thing so we can see it. Screen recorder is not able to do stuff while it's doing this crazy stuff. So let's try clicking OK. OK. And let's see what it comes up with. Translator, Google Play download. OK, well. Let's try doing the Google Play download, I guess. Really? <laughs> this type of file can harm your device. Okay, we'll, we'll keep it. Hopefully it doesn't have some kind of Chinese virus on it or something. Okay, so I guess it's downloading something. We will see what happens. Okay, so it looks like it's got a little check mark there. I don't know if you can see that. Up in the right hand corner. It had a download arrow before. And so we can swipe down from the top and there is our iTranslate app. And oh, should I do this? Oh. We'll click on that, and hopefully that will install it. Oh my gosh, for security, your tablet is set to block installation of apps. Obtain from unknown sources. Settings. Uh, unknown sources. Allow installation of unknown sources. Okay. Your tablet and personal data are vulnerable. Uh, to ask from unknown sources, you agree solely responsible for any damage to the tablet. Okay. Okay. So we've agreed to that. 
And now I don't know where it is. We're going to have to hunt around and find it now. Okay, so I went back to the main page, and here's a place where we can go into the programs, and this one says Downloads. And that is the only one that's downloaded there, the iTranslate APK. So we'll try installing that, and it wants us to uh, agree to listening to your phone, taking photos, recording audio, uh, stealing your location, okay. Modifying or deleting your USB storage, ooh, boy. Hopefully there's nothing important on this tablet. Changing connectivity, oh my gosh. Accessing Bluetooth, this is really scary. Um, okay, we'll just install it because I really want to get this uh, translator thing working. So, hopefully this will work. Okay, it's installed. So we'll try opening it. What the heck? Okay. Use this software for the first time. Please open the permissions by, by boot. Uh, click permissions management. Okay, I don't know if I have to do that or not. I've already given it a lot of permissions. Allow two permissions. Okay, I guess there's a next thing up here. So we'll try clicking on that. Hmm. Choose device. Well, I have this thing turned off right now. Maybe I should try turning it on. I'm not sure if it's trying to find it or not. Power on. Power's on. Wait for connecting. All right. Okay, so it's going to connect. Hopefully. Okay, so I fiddle with it a little bit, and I noticed that when I swipe down... Oops, not that guy. Over here... The Bluetooth is turned off, so maybe if I turn the Bluetooth on, we can try to connect to it. Okay. That might be the key thing there. Connected. Oh, look at that. So I clicked on the translation device, and now it's connected. Now, how do we get back to our program. Okay. Ah. Okay, so it looks like it's connected and it's Chinese to English. We have it says Chinese down here and English over there. And I don't know if you can see the uh, I have my device right up here. Oh. I'll put that up there. We can see, maybe. And, uh, well, let's just try it, see if it works. So, we got our device here, and we'll push the blue button. Hello? 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 Well, it seems to be knowing that I'm pushing the buttons, but I am not sure what it's doing. It's not doing anything. Hello? Because when I push the button here, I push the blue button there, it lights up the blue button down here. Oh, what, what's going on? Do you want to install updates? Oh, yes, of course. This doesn't seem to be working. Install. It's always so much fun trying to get this stuff to work. Okay, Bluetooth is on. Scanning for devices. 
Maybe I'll try cycling the power on this thing. Power on. Light for connecting. Okay. Connected. Oh, okay. So there we go. Had to cycle the power on this thing right here. Hello? Hello? Okay. Very interesting. I'm not sure what it's doing, but it is not not seem to be doing too much. Okay, so it looks like you can change the languages by clicking on these things down here. Like this was a Chinese English. Maybe I just want to switch it to uh, an English English. And so it's changed the flag down there. I'm a little bit concerned though because I really, really wanted to uh, get something that was a standalone unit. I thought from the advertisement it looked like it was a standalone unit. Uh, but it looks like, possibly, I, I'm going to have to verify this, but uh, possibly it's just some kind of remote control that you can control through uh, your tablet, you know, like a microphone and some other stuff, that will send it over the internet. And I absolutely didn't want that. I wanted the uh, thing to be self, you know, self-sufficient. Because if you travel to another country, you don't know if you're going to have internet access on your phone. Right? I mean, I, I don't know if I'm going to, uh, if I take a track phone there, am I going to be able to connect to the internet? It's going to be pretty iffy. Um, and uh, so this could be a problem. Anyway, let, let me look into this some more, but it looks like possibly, you know, this just controls the buttons of the tablet. I, I would prefer just to use my, my tablet rather than uh, have a fancy remote control that you know, it connects through Bluetooth and sends audio and button pushes to your tablet and then connects to the internet, which I think, I'm thinking that's what this does, possibly. Anyway. There can we see. So yeah, when you push the buttons, it just pushes the buttons on the tablet. I still haven't got the thing to translate yet, so I'm not sure what the problem is. Okay, well, we'll look into that. Okay, so here's another device. I tried installing this uh, language program for our translator here. <coughs> this thing. And uh, it didn't seem to work on several of my devices. Maybe they're too old. Let's try installing the code reader and see if we can... Uh, we're going to install this on the Android d device. We'll accept all the poisons that they want to stick in there. I guess you need control over it, right? So anyway, we'll see if we can uh, install the the uh, translator program on, on this phone. It's a little bit newer. And uh, then we can hopefully test it out and see how it works. Okay. Okay, this has got a camera on the bottom. Find our code. Okay, so there's our code. So there's our code, and looks like this phone's got a higher resolution. Looks like it, uh, recognize that code. Okay. HTTP perfect translator. Let's see. Add, I guess. Oh, close. That's an add. Let's see if we can figure out how to install it now. Download it and install it. Okay, so I guess with this one, with the droid phone, we have to hit Browse Website down here. And that takes us to our translator website, our favorite translator website. That I have not been able to get to work yet. Google Play Download or Official Download? Uh, I guess I can choose. We'll try the Google Play Download. Since. Well, maybe the 
official download. Uh, let's see, plug, cancel. Let's just do the Google Play, I guess. <coughs> okay, it says this type of file can harm your device. Do you want to keep it anyway? We'll click OK. Let's see if this is doing anything. Yeah, it looks like it's downloading it up there. Okay. So I'll let it down. Okay, so we've been downloading this file. It looks like it's still working on it. It's that one up there. So we'll wait until it's downloaded all the way, and then we'll try installing it. And hopefully we can get this uh, translator working on one of these devices so we can check it out. Okay. Okay, sorry, we just got a pop-up at the bottom. And uh, it asks if I want to... Uh, install the app and then it disappeared before I could click on it okay next next install okay so we're installing the translator now okay let's try opening it And uh, I think last time I had to have this thing turned on, so the power button's over here. Power on. I'll we'll turn that on. Wait for connecting. Okay, we'll connected. Connected. Did I didn't tell you to connect to anything? Let's see. Oh, that's right. We gotta click on the next thing up here. Choose device. I think that thing probably connected to the other device I tried to hook up. So let me go turn that off and then we'll try to connect it to this one. Okay. Okay. Come on. So I turn the other device off. And, uh, oh geez, it wants us to install updates. I guess let's try installing the updates, and then hopefully we can get this uh, thing talking to this uh, Android phone, this newer one. I'd like to see it work. Let me make sure that the Bluetooth is enabled on here. Oh, where is it? Yeah, see all these Android devices are different. Oh, that's right. I turned this thing off so it would not be connected to the other one because we had to turn that other Power device off. On. Wait for connecting. Okay. Connected. What did you connect to? I didn't tell you to connect to anything. Okay. Okay. Um, I had to turn the device off. I just turned off the Bluetooth. I thought that would fix it. I'll try see if uh, powering the whole device Power on. makes Wait it. Wait for connecting. Okay. Let's see if it works now. Okay. Bluetooth is off, so we'll turn Bluetooth on. Okay. See if we can find that program now that I got out of it. Okay, what's this? It came up with something now. Translator. Connected. Okay, now it's connected. Okay, so let's give this a try. We'll press the blue button. One, two, hello? Hello? The microphone is occupied by other software. 
Network connection is abnormal. Please check what? Please check the network and try again. Oh. Okay, so the software is up and it's still not really working too well. Hello? Hello? Okay. Oh, more more updates. Oh, sure, why not? Let's install some more updates on this thing. Okay. One, two, hello? Let's just... Okay. When to... Hello. Okay, it looks like it came up with some words up here now, which is more than it did before. So it recognized that I said hello. Okay. And I haven't got it to talk yet. Try pushing the red button. Maybe just... Hello? Try pressing this again. Actually, I don't know if the remote controls work yet. You're supposed to hold down the button for two seconds and then talk. Hello? Okay. Actually, I got it to work last time on the phone, didn't I? Without having that extra thing. Hello? Okay. It seems like... Yeah? Anyway, so it looks like the program at least is working. It seems to be, well, it's working partly. It's, uh, it's listening to what I have to say. I can't seem to get it with the remote control thing that I paid a lot of money for. Let's try it again. Hello. The microphone is occupied by other software. How interesting. But if I use the microphone here, what is your name? Well, it seems to be recognizing what I'm saying. It said, what is your name? And it gives a translation into Chinese. But then when I click the say button, what I think is a say button, it is uh, just giving me kind of static. I don't know how you make that talk. But it's, at least it's recognizing what I'm saying, which is better than anything I did before. This controller still hasn't done anything at all. Oops, let's go back. Chong, chong, chong. Hello. 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 Okay. Hello. Microphone is occupied by other software. So that thing has not worked at all yet. Where is the train station? Okay, so it's, it seems to be recognizing what I'm saying pretty well. It needs the internet for that, which is very unfortunate because I'm not sure if uh, there's going to be an internet where I'm going. Let's change this to something I understand like about something I kind of understand. 
Spanish. Okay, and that's going to require a new install. Okay, very interesting. So we got to install every language, but okay, open. What is your name? Como te llamas? Okay, I know that's right. But it does not seem to be saying anything. Okay, I'm going to have to fiddle with this some more. It's recognizing what I'm saying now. It's translating it, I think, into another language text but it is not talking. And this controller thing, I have not got to work on any of my devices yet. And I'm concerned that this thing requires internet and I wanted a standalone device to travel. And I don't think it's going to be that. But we'll see. If I get it working, maybe I could test it without the internet. But I can't even get it working that well. Okay, let's, let's fiddle with it some more. Okay, every time I try to use this, I powered it off, turned it back on, and uh, it still didn't fix the problem. Every time I try to use this uh, Bluetooth thing, it says the microphone is occupied by another program. And so I started going through uh, the Bluetooth stuff, and it looks like there's a, well, there's some other things here that uh, maybe are causing some problems. Looks like it was paired to something else. Oh. Come on. Bluetooth is paired to some hands-free uh, things. How do I turn these off? I'd like to turn these off. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's trying to devote attention to the... Oh my god. This freaking thing. How annoying. I want to turn the Bluetooth on. I want to get rid of these things. Okay. God, how do I turn these things off? Let's see if that fixed the problem. I think I turned one of them off. Hello? Oh. Let's try turning this thing off and on. Okay, last time. Connected. Okay, it's connected. It's a Bluetooth on. Okay. Try this again. Hello. The microphone is occupied by other software. Okay, I'm going to have to fiddle with this some more. This is really annoying. Okay, I feel like this is a step closer possibly, but it's really annoying. Go into settings, Bluetooth. And they have a bunch of things down here at the bottom of Bluetooth where you can select them. And I ended up selecting a translator. And it brought it up here and said it was connected. And it's connecting, unconnecting all by itself. It's really irritating, but at least it thinks it's connecting to the translator now as opposed to the other things. But I still... Let's, let's go back to our program. Hello? Microphone is occupied by another software. How irritating. And it's also giving me some kind of weird internet error also. So, if I push the button here, now here, here's the, the wonderful thing about it, is that the program will not work at all unless you have this remote control. Like you can't even get in here and use the program like 
you know, just type in there and translate stuff. You have to have this thing connected, and this thing doesn't hasn't worked for me yet. So you gotta like connect it and just carry it around and stick it in your pocket, I guess, because it does not seem to do anything as far as I can tell yet. Anyway, this is really irritating. Yeah, so here's the thing. It's not connected. Although it says it is. It's not doing anything it should do. Hello! The microphone is occupied by other software. Very irritating. Okay, so there's little sound things down here. It kind of looks like, uh, I don't know if you can see that. Like if you click on that, it should uh, play back the message in the different language. When I click on it, it sounds like this this thing's doing something. It makes like a hissing noise, like it's playing back static for a second or so. But it is not playing back what I tell it to. I don't know if you can hear that. So it plays back static for a second. It doesn't play back the voices. Anyway, still major frustration. Been working on this for days now, trying to get it ready for my trip, and I don't know if it's going to do what I want it to do, and I don't even know if it's going to do what it's supposed to do, at the minimum. Anyway, we'll keep on working on this. Okay, so I found uh, the volume was turned all the way down, so I turned it up after disabling those applications, and here's my hello, and if I click on the little voice thing down in the corner, hola. it says hola. And I have some Chinese translations. Where is the train station? Let's see if this works. Okay, well, let's see. How do we say hello in Chinese? Ni hao. Ni hao. Okay. And it's coming through this controller, finally. I really wanted to get it for uh, Korean, though. Let's see if there's... Here's our Korean. See all these different languages they have there. We'll change it to Korean. And let's see if we can make it work with this controller now. Hello. Oh, that's still not working. That is still not working. I still got to push the button on the phone, I guess. Hello. Okay, well. So we're getting closer. Everything seems to be working except for the buttons on this crazy thing. And uh, I couldn't get it to work on any of my other devices, but maybe this one will be good. Let's try. What is your name? And just give me a microphone error. But it seems to be working on the phone down here if I click on that. So I guess I'll just have to carry around this remote. So I'll just have to carry around this remote and just use it to, as a speaker or something. And then click the buttons on the phone. Okay, let's try it again. Hello. Mocu microphone is occupied by another... Well, I'll fiddle with it some more. Maybe it's a Bluetooth thing that's... Oh, what is this? Oh, more updates? Install. Install them all, please. How annoying. Okay, this may take a while. Anyway, so... Let's try it again. Maybe the update fixed it. Hello! What is your name? Okay, it's this this button's on that thing. It's still not recording through that. What is your name? Okay. Well, that seems to be working. I mean, as far as I can tell, it's talking in some foreign language, and uh, it's trans. It's it's uh, definitely recognizing what I have to say. So anyway, I uh. It's not exactly what I, I would, if I would have understood exactly what this was, I probably wouldn't have ordered it. If I would have known what a hassle it was to get it working. Uh, I'm going to try to fiddle with this some more and see if I can get the buttons to actually 
work like they're supposed to, so you don't have to use the phone. But uh, they, this is going to be a two-hand thing, I guess. You're going to listen to this thing and push the buttons on the phone. Worst of all worlds. Anyway, uh, I, I would not have bought this, though, if uh, I would have known what it is. So anyway, this is uh, Dr. Jeans, and thanks for watching.